I think it's great to get tested by different teams with different technical and tactical abilities. Uh, Mozambique is not far off from how we play and our style of play because in that midfield, we went 3v3 in that midfield. And I think uh, we were anticipating that their striker is capable of that. Um, just one chance where we slipped off and we pressed on the ball before we could just delay them. And because she's a top striker as well, even from Costa do Sol in, 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 in uh, Kosafa um, Champions League, she scored a couple of great goals as well. So I think for us, it wasn't so much of a wake-up call, but it was just to remind us that we are in a tournament, we are bound to concede goals, but now how do we bring in our mental aspect where we are able to change things around and then pull one back? And I think we showed a better whole game, 90 minutes, because in the first half, if we would have converted... Um, the first goal from Spume, if we would have gone in and, and hit the target, Vivo got to hit the pole in the first half against the wind. So we were able to adapt to that. So in the second half, all I said to them at halftime was that we are not going to lose this game and it's entirely up to you. You determine what color of medal you want to go and play for, you know, so or you don't want to go play for a medal. And I think with the new formation today, we went with a three at the back and we had two strikers up top. I think it gave us so much flexibility going forward. Hence, we were able to score on a normal day. We wouldn't have converted that goal because it was the other striker that pulled the defender away so that we get that pass coming in. So I think we did well as a team. Uh, obviously, there's uh, areas where we just need to go and improve where we don't cover too far from each other or too close to each other and force the goalkeeper to come out. And I'm happy with coming into the semi-final only conceding one goal. It's good for us.